guys, Miss Michelle Fix It, otherwise known as just Michelle Fix It. You guys can find me. Um, I'm at Georgetown. I almost did a little video just on like my drills and stuff, but basically I'm waiting to see. I'm trying to toast the the clothes in the dryer just a little bit longer, just because like sometimes they smell a little funny. I'm sure there's somebody out there that can help me with that. Um, but I'm making a list because I have just used the last bit of milk at Georgetown. Um, and so I am making a list of Georgetown Essentials because if you don't know by now, maybe this is your first video, I kind of bounce between like multiple houses. <laughs> or like, I had, I had so many of these red cords that like, I know that Manassas needs more red cords, but I have some at Georgetown. And like, based off of an assessment, I need a little black box, that's what I call it. Um, a black charger box because Georgetown has two cords that are set up over here so you guys are charging and uh, the little phone the note 10 is charging that doesn't have the memory thing which is very frustrating and then I have like random things in my pockets so I'm pulling out my pocket rockets right now because I have this blank one that I was supposed to give to crazy cat lady to help her with her organization um, because like she started using her calendar on her phone and that's been really helpful but then like she doesn't keep her phone on her because she doesn't want to get it broken like this is just like a good little system so the next time I see her like this yellow one is for you crazy cat lady and then I'll find out if she's okay with me like calling her by her generic name even though I said it a couple times um, but Georgetown needs some boxed milk because I'm going to be taking that boxed milk because I've depleted this boxed milk and so I don't want this to be an imposter cat the next time I use it so I do systems checks like all the time. Like people are like, how do you know where everything is? <laughs> all times. Like I don't know where everything is. I just think about the last time where I used it and all this other stuff. Like something of mine doesn't stay lost for very long as long as somebody else hasn't touched it, which is like that whole respecting boundaries thing. So I know that if I put this here and then I put this outside of the children's room, um, or better yet, I put it right at the front door, now the children's rooms be the best. Um, so right between the baby gate and the door, then it's like, hey, you need milk because you don't have any here because I have old milk, but I don't have other milk. So it's like creating little systems checks like this. And if you're in a relationship and you know, you're know you co-parenting, leave the person's system checks alone. So if you see stuff that doesn't make sense to you, that does not mean go over there and play with it or mess it up or whatever. That means leave it alone because it doesn't belong to you. Just like I tell little children all the time, like respect people's boundaries, respect that child's boundaries, um, because this is a system check for me. So like if crazy cat lady came over here, because like we've communicated so much that like she very rarely, unless someone gets her all upset over something stupid and then I have to talk to her about it, but she knows and I know, and there's no divulging of information there. It's like everyone needs someone to talk to. And I'm the person that a lot of people talk to. And uh, I don't really talk to very many people because I'm very persistent about not having my information out there because a lot of people, if you talk to them, then like they just mess things up for you. It's just what they do. And then they want to, they think that they have ammunition for you or against you or whatever. And like, then they think that there's this whole big thing. And like now I'm wondering, oh, my doors are downstairs because I have doors. Um, so it's like stuff like that where it's why do we have all these things going on like all the time why do we have these things going on and it's just it's a very frustrating situation and it just kind of just annoys me because I, I don't like it when things just don't make sense and they don't work out and that's just what it is so I guess what I'm saying is you know I'm just here at Georgetown waiting on laundry trying to give some profound knowledge of I need milk. <laughs> Make your list. Carry around some note cards. Put a little clippy on it. You can get them from the Dollar Tree. You don't have to get them from Target, which is where this little happy face guy came from. Um, and butterfly clips are like really cheap. And that's just because I like the butterfly clips and I used to have a bunch of them. Um, and husband cat is calling me now. So he's going to be like a distractor cat because it's like he knows that like he should be checking in with me. And so he's getting back to his normal systems checks where he's like, wifey cat, not here. Where's wifey cat? Under, don't understand, blah, 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 blah. And so like he loves his me and I love his him. And like, he has no idea how I do everything that I do because like he can be with the children for like an hour or two and be like, got us. And like for me, I'm fine. I'm fine as long as no one messes with my children. Like I'm fine with them. 
they know my rhythms and I know my their rhythms and it's like leave him alone he's got a poopy butt leave him alone he's working on making poops like you know sometimes they'll be like oh he's making a poop it's like okay leave him alone because this child requires 20 minutes to an hour to make a poop and if I change him now then I'm gonna waste like four diapers and if it's an acidic poop like right now he's in the poopy diaper because we just got back here and he was grunting in the car which means that he's still working on some poops so he's gonna, you know, walk around because it helps him poop. And then in like, I don't know, a couple minutes, I'm going to go in there, change his diaper. And then hopefully he won't be sitting in a poopy diaper until we get back to Manassas. And I'm, you know, just taking a minute to just look and assess all the different stuff that I need. Because like, if somebody comes in here, you're gonna think it's chaos, but it's organized chaos. I, you know, I didn't do my systems check of, you guys had me, well, you guys didn't have me do it. I did it for your benefit or whoever you are. Um, I showed you guys my drills to show you that I do have tons of tools, but I know where most of my tools are and I have a rough estimate of how many tools I do have. And if it's really in a pinch and it's worth the spending of 20, 30 bucks, which now they're getting more expensive, which is very frustrating, I will go buy a drill because I know that a contractor would charge a couple hundred dollars for what I'm doing. And if it's worth $50 in expenses for material, I will spend the $50 and I will have yet another drill. Like you can see them in the background. Like I just took them down specifically so I could remove their batteries because I'm like, hey, I don't know what their little battery lives are. So then over here in the corner, because you guys have a longer thing, I'll show you. I have a systems check. This room is not a child-friendly room. This is, oops. This is a room where we have the cordless vacuum because sweeping generates a bunch of dust in a home and so we vacuum. Um, and like the little three lined up batteries, those guys, those guys are specifically charged batteries. And when I come into this room, I know that if I need a battery, I grab from here. I also know that I have this guy charging a battery and the guy that's buddied up next to him, that guy is because those two guys are like dead or in the process of being dead. So if somebody comes in and moves my batteries, I'm not gonna know who's charged and who's not charged. Even though if you look at that system, that's a system for me. I know that I, with the length of this wood, I have to have it like this. Like there's just a lot of stuff. I have a lot of different systems where it looks messy, but it's because I'm in the middle of a project. Whole house is a project. And I have a mentality of I work from the top all the way down because I don't want dirty feet tracking all over my brand new floors. So you use the, the least trafficked area first. And if you have children and you're working on rehabilitating a house and you guys bought a fixer upper or something like that, first off, you need to learn about lead. You need to learn about lead and you need to learn about radon immediately. And you need to know how old your children are and when they could be at risk for exposure and stuff like that. Um, and then secondly, you need to make sure that you have a perfectly great child-friendly space for them and you have a system that's in check of, I'm not going to go into that room with my shoes on because then I'm going to potentially be tracking in hazards and stuff like that for my children. Um, because if you're a single mom or a starter family or a seasoned family and you finally had enough money to buy a house and it needs a lot of work, if you do certain things and if you are properly informed, you can pretty much accomplish whatever you need to. And I think one of my big mistakes that I did today too was not putting my apron on because I was going out and about. And I've limited myself with pockets. So like stuff's been like falling out of my bosom and like my shorts only oh, have so much space because like I haven't even like got into the whole reason that like I have what I have. And so like my right pocket, my shorts have two pockets on them, even though they're like compression shorts and they're like biker shorts and I could wear them and just tie my dress up and stuff. But like dresses, they're comfy. And then it also just makes me feel like feminine because I like feeling feminine because I do so many masculine things. And yes, I'm using those terms. I don't care. There are terms that I apply to myself and no one else. So you guys can say whatever you want to. Um, but then I also like, I bedazzle myself. I have things to play with. And uh, so right pocket has a business card thing in it because I did have a man wallet. I, that's what I called it. Um, and that's my big wallet, which has finally migrated to Manassas because for a little while it was MIA and like now I found it. Um, and so I have a big wallet, which carries like all the obnoxious cards that I very rarely use, but like I should always keep it with me. And so normally it's in what I call the booby bag and the booby bag is normally for the bottles, for the baby. And then it has like diapers in it. There's a whole systems check with that stuff. And then the left pocket 
it's typically reserved for like my phone, but then I just constantly am pulling my phone out. So like my phone ends up in my bosom. And I know that's not really good because some people are paranoid of like breast cancer and stuff like that. And like, maybe I need to get poor checked out, but that's what I do or it's in my hand or whatever. And now that I have a selfie stick, I'm just using that. So it's not going to get very much bosom time. It's like charger or on, you know, you guys are doing stuff with it and selfie stick. So now I'm keeping my, my note cards in there and I have so many note cards. And so that's going to be a video. But basically, I'm trying to give you as many snippets of my life as you possibly can have. And if this is just for the Baltimore people that like are near and dear to me and like you see me every day and like when I'm not there, you don't know what to do and you're wondering what I'm doing because normally we're actively engaged in something um, or maybe, you know, you really don't care when I'm gone and like you're just like, yeah, whatever. And I give it to you and you're like, OK, cool. I can see stuff on her. Um, or if you're someone that I meet, like I had this moment today where I was looking at a homeless person and it's like, you know what? Maybe I should give him like a smoky stick and a business card if I had like some Miss Michelle fix it uh, business cards with like the QR thing and like maybe I can figure out that whole link tree thing and it's like, hey, random person, you want something because you're out here on the road, which is like, gotta be so humiliating, really and truly. And I know there's mixed opinions on it and everything like that, but it still makes my heart hurt every time I see them. So it's like, hey, you want a smoky stick? Here's a smoky stick and a business card or if they're not a smoky stick person then it's like here's a water and a business card and that way it's like they look up and they say oh you know i'm gonna look up this person because you know they have a phone or they don't have a phone but they go to the library and then like they see me at the end of the thing and i give them verbal cookies and i'm like this person that like actually stopped to give them something the same way that they get all excited if somebody actually gives them money um, or says, you know, God bless you or have a great day or whatever their thing is. Like everyone has things that make them feel like centered. So if I'm that person for you, then hi. Um, that was a fruition that I came up with today. And like, you know, I'll be able to do it in the future. But basically, um, you guys have killed like 12 minutes of my time. Uh, I'm going to go check on the laundry and I have got to start making my way back to Virginia. So have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye. And we wait. Bye.